went and put some hardware on yesterday and uh, no sooner I got the nuts on I realised they were going to lock up so I just had the nylon they put in. Seems to be too uh, too much. I've run all this quarter length through a die and uh, they're all pretty clean, not much came off. But these, I've got the right size tap, 5mm, 8.8mm pitch. It's a struggle to get a tap through. No wonder I can't get a screw through. I found another box of nuts and they're the same. I've now got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, 4 to go, 21. And there's even one now, I can't even get the tap through. So, what's going on? So, I'm going to run this in and out for a bit. Then I'll put the tap in the battery drill and I'll uh, race them. I'll raise the battery drill in and out a few times on each one just to make sure that nylon is not going to be tight. It'll still work a little bit. I don't need much. I just need to stop the vibration causing them to come undone. Goes on good. When they're tightened up, I expect the nylon will. Uh, I could always belt them a little bit, compress them in the vise maybe. I've got at least five or six in the boat already, they can't get out. I'll have to cut them somehow. Right, yeah, give it a bit of a tighten. Let's see if that's helped. It's almost helped. They can do it a touch more. Give it a touch here, like this. Okay, that, that's working. I might not have to do this because I haven't uh, run the drill in and out. Okay, tiny touch. Yeah, it's too much. So that's going to have a drill treatment. It's a little tiny bit, a little bit softer pretty much right and I have to do that to uh, all those nuts and I have to go and buy some more metal threads, screws now I'm sort of ready to uh, try and bolt these cleats on again and I remember it was very hard to try and get a washer and then a nut onto a loose hanging screw while your eyes couldn't see what you were doing maybe one eye sometimes at a time I put a little bit of the glue I used on the windscreen rubber between the nut and the wash. All I know is if I do this it'll be so much easier. I'll save lots of time once I get the hang of doing it. Not sticking, I'll just leave that and do the next one. This also gives me a chance to count how many I have, how many little mitts somewhere in the boat and how many longer ones I have. The glue is going off in the tube. These people do uh, exaggerate. It says it sits, no clamping required, it sits instantly. That's a lot of nonsense. Now you've got two washers left. I know where four of them are, five, six, I know where six of them are. They're still on the bolts with the nuts that won't move. The glue tends to stick to the fingers better than anything else. Anyway, this is no different to the contact cement I first came across when Lamont was new. I think roughing up the uh, surfaces would have been the way to go. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six nuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Today's bright idea. We have three of these nuts seized up and only one that's almost tight. I'm going to try and get the three seized ones out by uh, hacking off the head rather than drilling. Although I'm not, uh, yeah, that's a good idea, and it hacks all one go. I'll have to use it upside down. Works. Hold that, but now I've got a saw pulling towards me. Turn that around. So I'm now cutting the other side of 
anybody wants uh, wants to know why it's taking so long. A half hour video could have taken three days to another day or two to edit. I'm holding the wrong thing. How about I go over here and just hold this shoemaker's tool and that works. I'm going to drop this. I won't even drop down. There. Next. I hope they're all long enough to do it. That one is not. I wonder if this is strong enough to do the cutting by itself. If I can ever get onto it. So if I work on it, I reckon the handles will break before I cut through the bolt. I might be able to get the saw in between, but it will scratch. Pity I haven't got a much bigger pair than this. Bolt would be to go. Cracking the fiberglass I am. Let's try the third one. It's a bit longer. Okay. There's the head. Put it down with the other one. There goes the bolt maybe. There. So this could be the answer. Just grab it by the head vertically. I've got enough room to get a hacksaw blade under. I've got this top. Meanwhile, I'm also polishing the boat maybe halfway. There. Down you go. I need three screws there. One. Two. Three new screws. All I have to do now is climb in, put the glued washer nuts on underneath. I only need one, two, three, se I only need seven. And then later on go up the front. There's two stuck nuts up there, one on each side. And uh, I think they'll come out without any uh, drama. Remember the thing I made to uh, to hold the letter punches in a lot? I had them in there and I put the fiberglass tape in there so they would be movable, but not much. And insulate them from the aluminium when they were hot. Well, let's call it a jig, right? If I can use it for something else as well, which is holding the bolts together, you could call it a tool. Like that. Of course, I haven't got a long enough screw, so I'll have to go. I'll have to go find some longer screw. But the idea is to screw them hard together with the nuts. Oh, there's no hole. I have to fix that. I'm back. They are quarter inch Umbrego cap screws and you tighten up with a 316 or even a 5mm allen key. Right, here we are underneath the uh, back end, next to the outboard well. I've clamped it on a little bit. Why is it turning? It's only on one screw, that's why it's turning. So I'm going to have to uh, reach up and fix that. Just see. Okay, I'll just pull it out, even them up and try again. It's the front nuts. These two I'm holding at the moment. There's another thing, you can't get the uh, the width of the channel aluminium. It won't fit between the screws. I can only do the fronts or the backs. I can't do the backs. Well, I can do one, because the other one's already tightened up. So I can put it along the two outside ones, because this will be, uh, it'll be hanging onto the screw then. That is not working. this one that's held in. You can forget that idea. I found out I can actually reach. I can put the vice grips on the, a nut in the bottom. I reach screwdriver. That's probably what I was doing in the first place when they jammed up. Can't remember. Went and got bolts to hang on to this. You wouldn't think I needed them that long to get through. The reason is under here there's an egg carton effect for strength. 40mm would have been long enough but I don't think they had these so I took 50s. They used to be straight. I've follow this little halfway between here and just to be different. Another tiny problem, this light needs 
There's more space. That needs space out behind the clips. I would use a piece of wood. I would use pieces of this Teflon. I just have to cut it into little uh, little lengths. All four sides have got cut marks in them, so I can't make it pretty. I'm not going to try actual. I wouldn't use my jigsaw any of those, even if I could find it. I really lost it. That and the handheld belt sander, with which I did a lot of the floor and the boat, is gone. I can't remember lending to anybody. A smooth sort of a file. Spills out. I'll get rid of these dirty uh, lines. The rest is just uh, making holes in the Teflon. I'm going to be able to try this. I like to do the maps. I hope I'm going to have to make two. Yeah. I don't think it's flat. sides. I've planed four sides on this one. Now I'm going to drill a hole. Try again. Put him in. Cool changes come. Where's a nice place for this? Thicker than that one because that way it doesn't want to go in, not fit in. 
and then this way. Beautiful. Switch off for the night. Hey. I don't know if you saw all that, but it just decided to tip itself up. I don't know how it does that. What I'm saying is, this is thicker than that, because that sticks out further than that. If I put it this way, that is not in at all. This way it is. They're not very strong, not meant to be. I mean, once you get going, you put your light in the socket, wouldn't you? Socket way up near the cleat. What we have here, this barb is broken. I managed to rescue a sliver, cut off the windscreen frame, and make it sort of fit in behind the broken part, creating a thing that looks like it's meant to be there. Now, this is a nice bolt. It's uh, got a nice big head, but it's gold plated, not stainless. Okay. Down to twill a hole with a screwdriver. Maybe a smaller screwdriver. Hmm. Then again. I have an Allen key waiting, but it's in the garage. Right. So if I do the front two like this, they have lock nuts. Nylock nuts. I'm not going to. Uh, I've, I've already tapped them out because they, they wouldn't even go on properly. They're too tight. 